In this video, I'm going to show how to quickly boot up Linux on the Zinc UltraScale Plus RF SoC ZCU111 Evaluation Kit. I downloaded the latest Petalinux BSP for the ZCU111 on Xilinx.com. On the Downloads page, I went to Embedded Development, and then I'm looking at the 2018.3 section because that's the latest release. If I scroll down, I get to the Petalinux installation files and further down here is the ZCU111 BSP. So I've already got that downloaded to my machine and I'm just going to tar xvf into my working directory. Um, that's a bit of a shortcut to get to the files in the BSP if you don't have Pelinux installed right now. What we're going to do next is go into the project directory and um, in here we have a pre-built directory. Uh, in the Linux images subfolder uh, we have a whole bunch of files that are already built and tested for us, so um, we can just make use of these to boot up Linux on our board. The ones that we want are boot.bin and image.ub. So um, I'm going to plug the SD card into my computer now. And I'm going to copy the files over to the first partition, uh, which is um, already in FAT32 format. Okay, so that's copied over now, and then I'm going to eject the SD card. So next I'm going to go to my board, which is currently turned off, and the first thing I want to do is check the boot mode. So right now it's still in QSpy boot mode um, from when I was doing the built-in self-test video. I got the table of switch 6 settings for the boot modes in the um, board user guide. So it's in the UG1271 ZCU111 uh, board user guide. So here we can see that um, currently the switches are matching the QSPY boot mode, and what we want is SD boot mode. So off, 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 and then on from position 4 to position 1. So let's make that change now. Okay. Now I'm going to S insert my micro SD card into the SD card slot. And I'm going to make sure it's fully inserted. Um, because I'm going to want to see what's coming up on the terminal output when Linux boots, I've connected a micro USB cable provided in the kit to the USB JTAG UART connector um, J83 and then I connected that to my Ubuntu machine. If I go to my 
terminal and I do a D message and grep for USB. I see that um, TTY USB 0 through TTY USB 3 um, are connected to a FTDI USB serial device. And that is attached to the Zinc Ultrascale Plus RF SOC PS side UART0, which is on MIO 18 and 19. Um, and so that is connected to an FTDI USB to quad UART bridge on the board. So the next thing I need to do to make sure that my um, terminal programs will be able to connect are to give permissions. So I'm going to chmod um, and give it read and write um, to dev tty usb star. Oops. Let me just sudo that. Okay, um, and um, the terminal program that I'm going to use is called QCOM, and you can use whatever your favorite one is. Um, Xilinx also has a wiki where someone has written an article about setting up the serial console so um, you can check out this page for information on setting up uh, a terminal emulator and the part we're interested in is the connection settings here so um, we're going to set the baud rate to 115 200 data bits 8 stop bits 1 flow control and parity to none So I've got my uh, QCOM windows up here. Um, I wasn't sure which of the four um, TTY USBs the output will come out on. So um, so I've um, set up windows for all four. So now we're just going to connect to all four of them. Okay, so now let's power on the board and we will see what happens. So we can see that the output has come out on dev TTY USB 1. I'm going to make that window bigger. Um, you can see that uh, this is where all of the boot messages are coming out. For the Ped Linux pre-built images, um, when you get to the Linux login prompt, you're going to want to use um, root as the username and also root as the password. So now we're at the Linux prompt. We can do an ls and see that uh, we've got our file system there. So um, we've booted into Linux. That was pretty easy. Um, and then um, to make sure that we don't 
corrupt the root file system, um, I'm going to do a proper shutdown um, before I turn off the board. So the way to do that is shutdown dash H now. And you see Linux going through the steps to properly shut everything down. And now we have a message that it's okay to power down. So now I can power down my board. Thanks for watching.